Welcome back to Top 5 Scary. I'm your horrifying host, Kyle McWaters. This week, we're floating off into some scary space stuff. Strap yourselves in, Houston, because we got some problems coming up. Let's dive in, shall we? Here's the top five terrifying space discoveries you should fear. Yeah. Number five, the Great Attractor. The Great Attractor is a gravitational anomaly in space and the apparent central gravitational point of the Lania Kea supercluster. The observed anomaly suggests a localized concentration of mass, millions of times more massive than the Milky Way. That's a lot of M's. It is inconveniently blurred by our own Milky Way galaxy view, lying just behind the zone of avoidance. Basically, we know it's there, but we can't really see it. Yet, invisible light wavelengths, the Great Attractor is difficult to observe. In fact, it will not be visible for another 100 million years until Earth will be on the other side of the Milky Way galaxy, allowing us to see past the galactic plane of matter. It's terrifying. It's not a black hole, but acts like one. Okay. With its discovery in the late 70s, the Milky Way actually moves through space after a series of velocity tests. Astrophysicists found that the Milky Way was moving towards the constellation of Centaurus at about 600 kilometers per second. Yeah. The discovery of cosmic microwave background dipples were used to reflect the motion towards the Great Attractor, allowing us to initialize there is something really there. When first discovered, we had no way to see through the zone of avoidance, but while that region blocks much of the visible light beyond, the gas and dust anomalies block infrared and x-ray light as much as they can. As x-ray astronomy became more powerful, we could start to see objects around that part of the sky. And what they found was a large supercluster of galaxies in the area of the Great Attractor known as the Norma Cluster, a mass of about 1,000 trillions of our suns. That's thousands of galaxies in the same place. When we look at an even larger region of galaxies, we find that the local galaxies in the Great Attractor are moving towards something even larger known as the Shapely Supercluster. It contains more than 8,000 galaxies and has a mass of more than 10 million billion suns. That sounds made up. The Shapely Supercluster is in fact the most massive galaxy cluster within a billion light years of us. And we and every galaxy in our corner of the universe are moving slowly towards it. Dude, I gotta sleep tonight, really? Number four, black holes. Black holes, yeah, these are significantly less scary all of a sudden. Or are they? These regions in space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape has been quite the hot topic these days. Half of the 2020 Nobel Prize in physics was awarded to Roger Penrose for his mathematical work showing that black holes are an inescapable consequence of Einstein's theory of gravity. And of course, Andrea Ghez and Reinhard Genzel shared the other half for proving that a massive black hole sits in the center of our galaxy. All right, I was almost not anxious for a second there. Black holes are terrifying for a couple reasons. If you fell into a black hole, left over when a star died, you would be spaghetti. Yeah. Also, black holes are places where the laws of physics no longer exist. Reading this just reminds me we still know nothing, and we have iPhones. The first black hole confirmed was Cygnus X1, the brightest X-ray source in the Cygnus constellation. Since then, about 50 other black holes have been discovered in the systems. There are apparently 10 million that are expected to be scattered throughout the Milky Way galaxy alone. Last year, astronomers published the first ever picture of a black hole and its event horizon, a 7 billion solar mass leviathan lays still in the M87 galaxy. It's over a thousand times bigger than the black hole in our galaxy. These black holes are dark most of the time, but when their gravity pulls in nearby stars and gas, they pump out huge amounts of radiation. If you get too close to one of them, the enormous gravity will suck you in and time will seem to have stopped completely for you. Just getting spaghettied for eternity. Yeah, that's horrifying. Number three, the cosmic microwave background. The CMB or famously known as simply the cold spot is a region of the sky seen in microwaves that has been found to be unusually large and cold relative to the expected properties of the cosmic background radiation. The cold spot is approximately much colder than the average CMB temperature and many theoretical explanations exist, including a so-called super void or great void that may exist outside of our galaxy. Such a void would be one of the largest structures in the observable universe. This would be an extremely large region of the universe containing a density of matter much smaller than the average density in space. A 2015 study shows a super void that has a radius of 1.8 billion light years across and is 3 billion light years away from our galaxy in the direction of the cold spot is likely associated with it. Although large voids are already known in the universe, a void would have to be exceptionally vast to explain being so cold. So it's dark, it's cold, and it's huge, and we have no idea what it is. 
Theories suggest it could be another universe beyond our own, caused by quantum entanglement. The problem with these theories is by standard cosmology, such a giant cosmic hole shouldn't exist. If the cold spot is in fact another universe merging with ours, then this provides the first evidence for a parallel universe. Could this be the long lost dark energy astrophysicists talk about? Who knows, dude? Number two, altered carbon. Preliminary results from NASA's twin study reveal that 7% of astronaut Scott Kelly's genetic expression, DNA, and genes did not return to baseline after his return to home to Earth two years ago. Uh, I'm sorry, what? The study looks at what happened to astronaut Kelly before, during, and after he spent exactly one year aboard the International Space Station through an extensive comparison with his identical twin, Mark Kelly, who remained on Earth. Kelly's newly genetic expression had in fact changed. But who was he now? Well, good news, he and Mark are still identical twins. Changes in gene expression are how the human body reacts to the environment around it. Kelly's transformation suggests long-term alterations related to at least five biological pathways and functions. Something's different. The preliminary results from this study on Kelly, now retired from NASA, were released in 2018's workshop for NASA's human research. NASA published its first results, and the findings are a little nerve-wracking. To track physical changes caused by time and space, scientists measured Kelly's metabolites, cytokines, and proteins before, during, and after this mission. They learned that spaceflight is associated with oxygen deprivation stress, increased inflammation, and dramatic nutrient shifts that permanently affect gene expression and their makeup. The team focused on primarily chemical changes in RNA and DNA. 93% of Kelly's genetic expression stayed the same after re-entering our atmosphere. However, once he returned to Earth, several genes remained a little altered. Some of these, of course, are thought to be caused by the stresses of space travel itself, which is totally normal. Some, however, still have scientists scratching their heads. That's terrifying. And coming at the number one spot, Oumuamua. Oumuamua is the first interstellar object detected passing through the solar system. Formerly named 1-2017-U1, famously named Oumuamua, coming from the Hawaiian word scout, or roughly first distance traveler. As seen from the telescope at Haleakala Observatory in 2017 in Hawaii, discovered by Robert Wirick using the PanSTARRS telescope, it was about 33 million kilometers from Earth and heading away from the sun. And this is where it gets a little scary. The small object, only about a rugby field across and 10 rugby fields long, exhibited non gravitational gravitational acceleration, turning away from the sun, potentially due to outgassing or a push from solar radiation. This thing came in fast, shot by us towards the sun, slowed down, and then changed its course. This so-called tumbling, shiny red anomaly moving fast through space is likely of an extrasolar origin. Yeah, that means it came from somewhere else. Came from another solar system. Oumuamua's path cannot be captured into a solar orbit, so it would eventually have to leave our solar system and continue into interstellar space at some point, leaving us with millions of questions. But we were too late to catch it. Its whereabouts are now completely unknown. By 2019, some astronomers concluded that Oumuamua is most likely a natural object like comet or a rock. Of course, a small number of astronomers suggested that Oumuamua is product of alien technology, and in January 2022, researchers introduced Project Lyra, which proposed that a spacecraft could be launched from Earth and might actually catch up to Oumuamua in 26 years for close-up studies. Being the first known object of its type, people have a lot of questions. Originally classified as a comet, then classified as an asteroid. Either case, we have an interstellar object, people, that seems to move, speed up, and turn on its own. So what's moving this thing? Radiation pressure, solar winds, or possibly an energy source made from some of our highly intelligent neighbors? Hmm. Either or, this thing is absolutely terrifying, and if you're not familiar with the work of Professor Avi Loeb of Harvard, who is a leading expert on this anomaly, I highly recommend you check him out. Well, there you have it folks, five absolutely terrifying space discoveries we should all fear. If you liked that video, throw a thumbs up or comment down below and we can dive into some more scary stuff. Good luck sleeping tonight, I'll be staring off into space overthinking and panicking. I'm Comic Waters, as always, lock the doors, turn the lights on, and stay spooky everybody.